okay uh, this experiment uh, is called Turner's method to determine the elastic constant of a transparent bar by obtaining hyperbolic fringe or elliptical fringe so for elliptical fringe this is the arrangement here you have the sodium light source and then you have a transparent glass slab that will reflect the rays to this part here so here we have the transparent bar on this two part we add load and on top of this we place a transparent uh, plano convex lens so when we place a plano convex lens uh, the fringe will be there which is uh, elliptical in nature so once uh, those fringe appear then we we find the diameter of the fringe similarly the same arrangement is for the hyperbolic uh, fringe but for hyperbolic fringe we replace this plano convex lens uh, by a, a, by a glass lab so we we place a glass lab here and then we observe the fringe the fringe will be uh, hyperbolic in nature and then again we find the diameter and then do the calculation so let's go and check out the apparatus mm. all right uh, so this is the the setup we have here the light source which is the sodium lamp and then next is from the sodium lamp from the sodium lamp the light will come and then we have this glass plate here which is uh, placed at 45 degree to uh, to reflect the light toward this plano convex lens which has been placed on top of this transparent bar and this tran transparent bar we have uh, two weight there has been uh, two hanger where we can place the weight on these two bars so this is one hanger and then this opposite here we have another hanger and then we place the microscope right at the center adjust it then when we observe from the eyepiece we will see the fringe okay so right now i can show you the fringe Okay, uh, now we will see the fringe. Okay, so uh, this is the elliptical fringe. So basically what we will do is that we will uh, put the cross mark of this uh, eyepiece tangent to this string and then we will take the reading along the left hand side first and then along the right hand side and then we will uh, take the reading. Once we get the reading, then the calculation will be done. To get the diameter of uh, this fringe so first of all we will take it along the horizontal and then later on along the uh, I, I mean first of all along the along the 
lateral and then along the transverse uh, direction also so that's how we will take it similarly for the uh, hyperbolic fringe we will do the same so when we do the hyperbolic fringe we will show you the fringe how they look like okay uh, right now I'm putting uh, the cross section of this eyepiece on the on the second order of the fringe I have kept this uh, the cross wire tangential to this uh, fringe so from here once we keep it so we will take the reading for the second order and then we will keep on moving toward the left until uh, until some order where it is visible after that then we will move it slowly toward the right and then take the reading again for those corresponding uh, uh, order so that is the how we take the reading along the longitudinal direction and one thing uh, right now we are just recording using mobile and we can see that the alignment is not proper so please uh, when you do it in the lab you should not uh, you, you have to align it properly okay so right now just for recording sake uh, it's not aligned properly but it's okay so okay now we will just show you uh, how to take the micrometer reading for this particular reading and similarly for the rest you have to follow the same way Okay, uh, camera is focusing. So right now we can see that the linear scale is on the it's on the uh, five, six, seven, eight. It's on nine. Okay, so your linear scale reading will be. 9 and then your circular scale reading will be uh, I can see 25 26 it's around 26 so your circular scale will, reading will be 26 and then your linear scale reading will be 9 so 9 plus uh, 26 into the least count so what is the least count least count is just the pitch divided by the total number of division on this uh, circular scale all right so i have just show you how to take the reading along the uh, longitudinal direction now along the transverse direction you have to move another uh, micrometer which is attached to the microscope so right now I am on the second dark fringe uh, I have put the, the cross wire tangential so this is uh, the alignment is not proper on the recording but uh, on the eyepiece it is okay so this is uh, how you will keep the the cross mark and then similarly from the micrometer you will take the uh, reading okay uh, there are two micrometer here the one to the left we used to to move the microscope to the left and to the right then using this actually we take the reading for the longitudinal direction and then this another micrometer here actually we used to move the microscope laterally so using this actually we can take the reading for the transverse direction okay so these are the two micrometer we have here 
okay for the reading along the transverse direction you can see the linear scale reading is 20 122 23 and the circular scale reading is actually 35 it's 36 okay so the linear scale reading is 23 and then the circular scale reading is 35 so the total reading will be linear scale reading plus the circular scale reading into the least count